Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bethany. If you are new here, I create cooking, cleaning, and lifestyle videos here on my channel. I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button and join my YouTube family. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, this video is in collab with my friend Mama Jessie J. So if you are coming over here from her channel, hello and welcome. I hope you like what you see and I would love to connect with you guys and for you to join my YouTube family. I also post over on Instagram quite a bit. So here is a screenshot for my subscribers to show you who Mama Jessie J is. She is a very wonderful lady. She also lives in a mobile home just like me so she creates cooking and cleaning videos, home tours, just everything you name it she does it and she's so wonderful. So today's video I'm going to show you how I make my lasagna. I have some ground beef going on the stove and I'm starting to boil some water. So I'm going to let the water boil and get that ground beef cooking so that way we can go to the next step of adding, um, cutting up some onions, adding some garlic to the meat once that is mostly cooked. I also do ricotta cheese, two eggs, um, mozzarella cheese, and then I do some mild cheddar and parmesan cheese. I mix it all together into a bowl and that's going to be the cheese mixture I'm going to use when I layer the lasagna. I will have the exact recipe I use down in the description box so you can follow that if you like. Um, but I just eyeball it because I know I've made this so many times and I just know how our family likes it. So I eyeball it but if you're looking for a recipe I'll put that in the description box. I also add a little bit of Italian seasoning, salt and pepper to the cheese mixture. Once my water's boiling, I'm going to add my noodles and just give that a good stir and let those cook. You can use any pasta sauce that you like. I just had ragu on hand, so I'm going to use that. I always get the chunky garden kind. Um, and then I'm going to spray my pan and start layering my lasagna. I usually put a little bit of sauce on the bottom, noodles, cheese, sauce, noodles, cheese, and keep going until it's done. So I'm going to do that now. So once I've put all the layers in, this is how it looks like before it's going to go in the oven. Um, I did make this during the day while my husband was at work, so I had a few hours before this is actually going to go in the oven. So I'm just going to put it in the fridge. And now I am going to focus on cleaning up the kitchen and getting that nice and tidy. And then just tidying up the living room and just getting the space clean before my husband gets home and before we start dinner. Across the main street when you first laid eyes on me. I remember cause I know this. You turned your head to really see. Now you've been busy walking that same. So here I'm just going to clean all the debris off the counters from the mess I made from making the lasagna. And once I have the counters all clean and the measuring cups put away, I will put the, un the <laughs> lasagna in the oven at 350 degrees for anywhere from 50 to 55 minutes. It just depends on how hot your oven cooks. Um, mine took about 53 minutes for it to be done. Um, so I'm just going to put that in the oven here and then we will be ready to eat very, very soon. As we walk across the bridge. And this is what the lasagna looked like after it came out of the oven. It was so, so good. Our whole family enjoyed it and the leftovers were even more wonderful. But now I am just going to continue cleaning to give you guys some more cleaning motivation to hopefully to inspire you to clean a space in your home or to clean along with me or if you're just looking to binge watch some cleaning videos to get some future motivation. I hope that this video will provide all that you need.
Let me feel your love again. So when doing this voiceover, I think it's hilarious how many times I come back to the sink to put more dishes in the dishwasher or to hand wash some more dishes. It's just so funny how many times in a day that the sinks get filled up with items that need to go in the dishwasher or things that just need to be washed, period. But I think that's life for everybody. And despite how many times I have to do dishes, I'm thankful I have dishes to do. After cleaning off the sink and getting that nice and shiny, I'm just going to clean off all the counters, get those disinfected and clean, just so that way the kitchen can feel much cleaner and nicer um, before we start having dinner dishes go into the sink. Okay y'all, so if you have any tips, I need some tips on this. Um, that window above my sink, that is where the brightest light comes into the house. So um, whenever I film videos, there's always like this washed out white haze um, and I do not know how to fix that. I have tried to put my shades down and it does not help. I've tried positioning the tripod in other areas and it seems to help a little bit but not substantially. Um, I was thinking about getting curtains for it and just closing them while I film, um, but I'm just not sure because I really love that natural light, but there's like nothing I can do about this window. So if you guys have any tips or tricks of what to do, please leave that in the comments as I'm curious to hear what you have. And then now I'm just going to clean up the living room because of course there's toys everywhere, which is normal for mom life. There's shoes out of the shoe box. So I'm just going to get this tidied up while my daughter's sleeping and while my son is sleeping. Um, so before they wake up from a nap, we can have a fresh clean house to start over again. I'm going to be myself or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm going to skip my breaks. I'm going to make mistakes. Just what I do when I'm out so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars 
so if you guys can tell um, my kitchen chairs are tipped over on their sides because my sweet sweet daughter figured out how to get onto the chair and get onto the table and of course we remove her and we tell her that that is a no-no because we do not want her to get hurt so we tip the chairs on their sides because she does not know how to climb up them that way um, so it's working for now but if you mamas have any tips of how to fix that please leave that in the comments below um, I'm struggling to figure out how to fix that we did have a baby gate there um, so that is an option to put that baby gate back up however with how small our house is I just feel bad for having that gate up because there is not enough room for her to run um, and just play she's just confined to one area and I'm just not a fan of that so if you have any tips or tricks let me know of course, you're always going to get a view of my plant shelf because I just love that thing so much. But the living room is much more clean and tidy now. Um, we still have my son swing, that, but that is in our bedroom. Um, so the living room just looks so much better now. And so I'm going to enjoy a nice clean space while the kids are napping. I want to thank you so, so much for watching today's video. And if you get the chance, please check out Mama Jessie J's video. She's very wonderful. And we're both doing Cook and Clean with Me's. Thank you all so much for watching and have a wonderful and blessed day. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, y'all.